Hey guys, so I get a lot of questions about how to film your art and that's maybe the art process, whether it's painting in real time or as a time lapse or it's just vlogging like we're doing right now and I thought I'd answer that question in a video. This is how I film my work. So I'm going to start off with what we're filming with right now. This is my Sony camera. This is the camera that I bought to film vlogs with specifically. It's got a flip up back screen, which is super important if you're filming yourself and you see what you're doing, or if you're filming looking down on a scene, you want to be able to see uh, maybe the angle isn't quite right. I'm using this on top of a Gorillapod, and the Gorillapod is wonderful because I can just attach it to anything. I can wrap it around stuff, and yeah, it's the perfect pairing in my opinion. One of the big drawbacks to using this camera in particular and other cameras like it is that it does not record for an extensive period of time. This one I believe cuts off at about 30 minutes. Not a problem for vlogging actually at all, but it would be a problem if you're trying to do a long time-lapse video. So you will need something else instead. There are a lot of other good camera options out there if you're curious and want to get super high definition video, I recommend looking into other DSLRs that would be able to do that for you. Or you can do what I do and film on your phone or on a GoPro. The other thing that I film with when I am doing video is my GoPro. And this GoPro is set up permanently over my desk. It's attached to this phone mount, which is just a springy, springy little thing. And then, and then I've hacked it, sort of attached it to my, my lamp here. It's a little bit of a hack job, uh, just to get it over the center of my desk, because my desk is so large. But my GoPro is always plugged in, which is important if you're filming long sessions. You don't want to worry about the power, needing to change batteries, or even the card getting too full. So I keep it empty and I have a very large card in there. This is just a GoPro Hero Silver 4 and right now it is not the latest model. They are fairly inexpensive to pick up any of the, the GoPro options. Now the settings that I use on my GoPro, I am usually filming for time lapse so I will set it to a time lapse setting that way I just don't have this this giant file that sits on my computer, it will just go ahead and already make it into a time lapse. I don't have any use right now for real time video unless I am planning on filming like a tutorial or uh, like a review of a product or something like that. Another thing to keep in mind is if you paint um, rather vigorously and you shake your table, the, the setup here may not work for you. If that's a problem, you can easily just mount it to another object that is not attached to your desk and that solves the problem right away. I should mention that having a good lighting setup while you're filming is important. I have two lights, I mentioned that in my lighting setup video, but I didn't really get into detail about them. These are just Ikea lights that I've spray painted and daylight white um, CRI 95 like photography bulbs and those are fairly inexpensive on Amazon and nothing too fancy or too special. I also have this larger light that I use for lighting my table in a very even manner as well as lighting my face. One thing that my light stand here can double as is if I take off my LED panel, I can actually mount my DSLR camera to it and this thing is super heavy duty so it has no problem holding my super heavy Nikon. So if you have room in your studio for a stand like this, uh, those are great and it actually folds up and can be put away. If you don't want to spend a lot of money on a light, I recommend picking up something from like Home Depot. One of these LED lights is perfect for filling in. Important. So the last thing that I film with is my phone and my phone I use for a lot of things right now. I have the iPhone 10, and this is one of the best tools I have as an artist. I use this for taking photographs of my work in progress. I use this for uh, just keeping reference on it when I'm working at the desk, and then of course taking video. So the, the video that I get on here, I just use the, the default video app. There are other apps that you can use if you wanna do time lapse. I have used those, and 
recommend if you have a iPhone that has, or any phone that has a good camera, that you look into that because that can just save you the time and effort of getting more equipment. You do have to get a mount for them. Uh, the mount that I have on my GoPro works. I wouldn't really recommend that one. It might not be as long as you need to reach over your desk. So there's a couple other options that I recommend you can get. One of those is an arm like this one. It is just a mic stand that was, got this little attachment here. That way I can mount my, my phone over here if I wanna get just me sketching and all that. If you're looking for a really inexpensive setup and you already have an iPhone or an Android phone that you want to use for filming, this little attachment bracket attached to a really small Gorillapod is the perfect solution. This will give you a lot of options to mount it in different places. You can vlog with this setup. You can get video hanging over your desk with it. So many things you can do with this right here. And it's not very much at all. So the last thing on my personal list of things that I use for video recording is a mic. And I've used my phone for this and that works fine. Um, but I prefer my, my Zoom. And this Zoom has a nice um, little fluffy thing on top. And this is a, we call a dead cat. And that is why I prefer it over a phone because it, it actually mutes some of the S sounds in my, my voice. So this is what I use when I am talking and um, over the time-lapse videos, this is what I'm using. So I'm just talking into the mic while I'm looking at the, the video playing back on my computer. I hope this has helped you get started with thinking about filming your work. And if you're an artist and you've thought about it at all, I highly recommend that at least, if anything else, you can document what it is you're creating. So you can use it on social media or just as something to look back to in the future when you're wanting to remember your process or the behind the scenes of Thank you so very much and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.